pretty clear. They say they want to be equal to men, but in actuality, they want to be superior. But us men, we have abandoned our post. A lot of this feminism that you see, in my opinion, it's just a simple outcry. It's a plead for men to become men again. Honestly, look, when I see these clips, when I see these videos of women degrading and uh, 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 devaluing and shaming men, realistically, all I'm really seeing, all I'm really looking at is just these little girls that are breaking down, crying out, begging us men to be men again. They're just lost and confused, however, daddy was never around while they were growing up, never helping them realize how valuable they are, never showing them their God-given role in all of this, and now they're frantically lashing out at us men, and they honestly just can't articulate how they really feel and what they really need. And I feel bad for them. Honestly, it breaks my heart. And all this disorder that you see, not just in the world, but within the families, these broken families, it all stems from one thing, the man not doing his work, the man not defending and guiding his family, the man just losing his vision, his direction, and forgetting all his values. Don't allow culture to tell you what a man is. Only God can tell you what a man is. So you gotta take responsibility, my brothers. We're not here to just take back our rulership. God is our true ruler. What we're here to do is take back our true, organic, masculine role of manhood, right? And not by uh, dominance and tyranny, but by service and sacrifice. It's okay to be weak. Not all men are built to be strong. You can be weak, it's okay. Screw that. Screw that. Learn how to be more stoic. Learn how to be more masculine. Embrace and maximize your role. God gave you a spirit of not fear, not of anxiety, not of laziness and weakness. He gave you a spirit, what's it say? Of love, power, and a sound mind. It's okay to be aware of your emotions, but you can't let your emotions guide and direct your life. You gotta figure out how you can man up and serve and sacrifice. And look, that ain't simp-like, that's king-like. Serve is sacrificial. It's leadership. 